everybody. Today is a special day for me, it's my birthday. And um, this is exactly the day when the quiver um, from AX Left arrived. So today the Manchu quiver has been delivered and um, it's as beautiful as it looked on the pictures. So very, very nice. And it's heavier than you might think and larger than you might think. So this is a huge quiver. I would suggest one of the most um, biggest quiver I have. You see here th uh, six arrows and here in the quiver itself you see loops and each loop um, can contain up to three arrows and these are not very thin ones. Yeah? Um, so roughly estimated 50 to 60 arrows in this quiver, no problem. And this is boar. Because you not only have this section, you have also this pocket in the rear end and in the front. Um, I could show it, but I don't want to scratch the leather, leather because it's brand new. And um, so here in the front there is this pouch as well. It's uh, it's insane. Yeah, I take away the arrows so that we can have some measurements. First of all, weight. Yeah, the weight of this quiver. Hmm, where can I put this best? Maybe this way. One kilo sixteen. So this means one thousand one hundred sixty gram. It's heavier than a bow. And uh, this is not only due to um, some metal pieces that have been uh, used for this one, because here this is metal, here these knobs, um, the rivets, it's metal. This is here 3D modeling and here and um, it's painted in golden with golden color. Um, the red of this quiver matches excellently with my Mancho bow from Grosha. Yeah. And you can see here this is just wow. And uh, Henrik had only the pictures of this bow. So you know if you send a picture somewhere uh, every monitor shows it a bit different and um, this is just wow. Um, the color differences you can see here to there is because of uh, the different type of leather. So I experienced it myself when I created a roll bag for my mom. It was absolutely the same color but the effect on the leather is different if the leather is not the same. And even on the same leather there can be differences. So you can see inside there is wood and the wood is covered with thinner leather than um, the ones that is used for the body. We have a three point ridging on the belt and uh, yeah it's super cool. Yeah, it's just wow. And of course you have here Eric's logo. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was, it was 23rd of September when I have asked Henrik to um, build a Manchu quiver for me. Because these ones are also quite difficult. And um, as far as I'm informed, he hasn't built one of this design before. And so he was just, hmm, I give it a try. I said, you will do it. It will be just awesome. And I was right. Yeah, it is awesome. And um, I think this will not be the last Manchu Quiver he will build. Okay. And um, now we'll show you how it's um, looking like if you shoot. Just in case you want uh, some measurements, um, the quiver from this to the very bottom is approximately 13 inches and on the widest 
approximately um, 8.75 on the main quiver and including the pouch 10 inches. So, yes, it's that. Okay, let's shoot. One word uh, regarding the bow. Um, nominal strength is 37 pound at 28 inches. But uh, since we still have here a dry humidity, um, the bow is stronger. After I had strung it, it was um, 41 point a bit pound at my draw length. Um, this is about two hours ago. Let's see. Thirty nine point six. Still a lot. <laughs> so um, I give my best um, to shoot a bit, but um, I don't think that I can do many shots. This is really heavy for me. Oh. Okay. So. Um, the quiver is so huge that uh, six arrows are really not much. You could use a lot of more and uh, if you have only six, it rattles a bit. But uh, it's totally up to you how many arrows you put there. And what you can do is you just take three at, a, at once as a bundle and uh, include it in one loop and then it's less rattling. All right, Manchu arrows for Manchu bow. Haven't shot for a while, so let's see. It's always a bit uh, tricky if you have that long feathers and uh, less spray side mm -hmm. to put it on, but uh, you get used to it. Well, that was... Uh, off to the left and the quiver works very nicely. You just grab the it's natural feeling. Still a bit to the left. Yeah, same spot but to the left. I need to adjust myself a bit. So um, if you have a rattling quiver and uh, want to get it more silent, there are a few ways um, you can deal with it. Um, you can use straw, put it in, but mind that straw always has a micro life in it. And um, so I'm not so fond of uh, using straw, but uh, this is an option yeah? and it's quite cheap and you put it in and then it doesn't rattle. Um, the other option is um, to get a felt inside. If there are loops like here, this is a bit tricky. Um, you do not get the felt properly inside, but maybe stripes. Yeah, so there must be something in that uh, keeps the arrows at the bottom more fixed. But honestly, um, if you have such a beautiful quiver, rattling is no problem. Okay, next try. So, um, getting the arrows out of the quiver is very easy. Of course. Easy. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you have such a nice quiver, shooting is... <laughs> no, no, I exaggerate a bit. At least I want to uh, hit the target because the arrows always go more to the left. And um, yeah, I try now to point uh, to the red dot in the middle. Maybe I hit the center. Let's see. Uh huh. So I guess it's the short distance. We have a distance of about approximately nine meters. Maybe these long arrows uh, need a bit more uh, space or distance. 
who align themselves and that's the reason why they just go off but I hesitate to go to the 50 meter line <laughs> would be no problem uh, on the archery range but in the garden I'm a bit more careful yeah if I point to the right dot there then I'm more or less in the center at a distance of 9 meters you closer so I pointed here and the arrows landed there the loops are so easy to load three arrows at once that's really cool was um, a long draw and uh, very close to the center. I try, this is not really much shooting, but I try to elongate my draw here a bit. Ah, to the left, but um, first arrow is secure. Ah, it looked from far behind as if it was center, but it is not. You see, um, first and third one uh, in the center region, and um, the second one was a bit off. So, filling my quiver. Done. I try to get as long as possible. So here is my maximum in the moment. Yeah. All right. Please me. What do I think of my most beautiful Manchu quiver? Hmm, guess. I love it. So this is just an amazing piece of art. Um, the quiver is so beautiful. It's nicely made. It's handcrafted um, from a master and you see it. And Eric did this the first time. Yeah, so he has created a lot of quivers, Turkish style or similar styles, but this kind of Manchu quiver is his first. And maybe he has built a prototype, I don't know, but this one is the first he has sold. And um, yeah, this is super cool. And I love it. Yeah, so the color scheme is excellent. Um, the red is just bright and um, it seems to illuminate in the sunshine so it's really cool and um, the design is is nice 
Yes, and we know that from, from the Manchus. But it's made so nicely. It's just wow. And uh, there would be for me the opportunity to put something here inside, but I won't. Yeah, so um, this quiver is built like this and I use it like this in case I will ever get um, annoyed by rattling arrows um, then I have the opportunity to put in some felt but I have experience from um, thinner quiver that I have and put in felt you arrows the points made the felt rough and then I have difficulties to let the arrows light in here there is no problem the arrows light just beautifully and um, in case you sit on a horse I think they formerly had some kind of net here on the tree so that the arrows didn't slide off but whenever you have secured something for dropping off it's harder to get something in yeah so choose and um, yeah I choose to take it like it is like he has created it and I'm very happy about it and it's not only a perfect match with the arrows but also with the bow this is just wow thank you so much Erix that you have created this bow uh, this this um, quiver for me and that you have accepted the challenge to do so and um, I think it's it's just amazing you have created so many quivers in this time um, yeah, and developing a new quiver or an own pattern for a new quiver is it takes time. Yeah, so and you have done it. And I'm very happy about it. Thank you so much. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. Um, wish you all a good week and um, enjoy archery. And for those um, yeah, who cannot spend the time so nicely. Um, Maybe think of our friends in Ukraine. Have a hard time now. Thank you. Bye bye.